Major developments tonight in the ongoing Atlanta bribery investigation. The Fulton County District Attorney's Office has dropped charges against a man accused of threatening a key player in that investigation. Yeah, in an exclusive interview with senior I-team reporter Dale Russell, Sean Barnes' attorney says that key evidence in that case was never produced. Now Dale is live outside the attorney's office in Kennesaw with the latest tonight. That's right, Sinead, and that key evidence was what's been described as an FBI audio tape of the accused, Sean Barnes, apparently confessing to the crime, confessing to throwing a brick through the front window of contractor E.R. Mitchell's house back in 2015, and E.R. Mitchell has since pled guilty in the Atlanta FBI bribery investigation. But defense attorney Ted Salter tells me that tape was never turned over to the Fulton County DA. Without the tape, there's no case. My client did not commit any crime. Defense attorney Ted Salter says the assistant Fulton County DA did the right thing by dropping charges against his client, Sean Barnes. She made the determination that there wasn't evidence sufficient to try a case or proceed with a case against my client for committing any crime. I'll put you on the 6-2 trial calendar. Sean Barnes pled not guilty to the charges in a Fulton County courtroom. Atlanta police accused him of throwing this block through the front window of E.R. Mitchell's home back in 2015. The handwritten warning, shut up. Barnes is also accused of spreading dead rats around Mitchell's home. His lawyer is Ted Salter. You said you didn't think the arrest was valid. Why do you think that? No, that's just strategy, and I can't talk about that. Why would anyone want to threaten E.R. Mitchell, a construction contractor? We now know this. Mitchell recently pled guilty in federal court to paying more than a million dollars in bribes to secure Atlanta City contracts. Mr. Mitchell will continue to cooperate. On the 2015 affidavit for Barnes' arrest, police wrote that Barnes confessed to the crime and was a witness for a corruption case. But when he arrived in court in April, he surprised many by pleading not guilty and vowing to fight the charges. This guy is not a key to anything. Ted Salter says the DA never got a copy of Barnes' alleged taped confession from the U.S. Attorney's Office. Without the tape, they had no case against Sean Barnes. That's right. That is my opinion. And that's obviously what happened because they null prost it. Barnes was a co-worker with Mitzi Bickers, a minister, Kasim Reed fundraiser, and former city hall official in Reed's administration. A federal grand jury subpoenaed her city records, showing she's a subject of the ongoing investigation. Salter says Barnes was a bit player in Bickers' church and campaign consulting business, and Barnes says she's done no wrong. Does Sean Barnes believe she's involved in this? No. Now, I can tell you that for a fact. He doesn't think she, Mitzi Bickers has done anything wrong? That is correct. He really doesn't. Now, just a few moments ago, I got this email statement from DA Paul Howard saying that it became clear to Fulton County that Sean Barnes was involved, and I'm quoting now, in some extent with a larger ongoing federal investigation, a corruption investigation that we mentioned, and that because of that investigation, the DA's office would not have access to the vital, critical evidence in this case. That evidence, as we mentioned, at least a portion of it, the audio taped confession that we're told exists. Now, t d Defense Attorney Ted Salter disagrees with that contention and believes his client never confessed. As it is, charges dropped, and Sean Barnes, who is in prison right now on an earlier parole violation from an earlier case, hopefully, according to Mr. Salter, will be getting out soon. Reporting live from Kennesaw, Dale Russell, Fox 5 News. A big development. Dale, thanks very much.